Hey guys, this is Sean Park Awesome World Fun Stuffs, also known as Metro North 203 Productions. Today I'll be showing you how to make an F40PH-2 in Minecraft. A Metra F40PH-2. Difference to the threes, it has two specifications in 1983. Let's build. So first off, we need some deep slate brick stairs. Place it here and place them to the sides of the rails and like that. See, all you need is a gray concrete put right there. Oops. You need to put some deep slate brick stairs like that. All you need is you put the gray concrete here like that, like that. You can make them either you want. You can try to make an F40PH-2. You make it with six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you need nether brick stairs for the bogies. Like that. Let's replace it since a mistake. Now we put it um, some gray terracotta. Some dark oak stairs, right, neck, right, sticking to it. The nether brick stairs. Then we add hoppers to the gray terracotta. Then dark oak fence facing left. Or right to the dark oak and nether brick stairs. Once you do is you have the deep slate brick wall. This one, that one, either one. To the deep slate brick walls in the middle, two of them in the middle of the nether brick stairs, and two of them in the gray terracotta and the, and the dark oak fence. You need deep slate brick stairs on on front. You need seven blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You fill it up and do another deep slate brick stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need to add this one, then you need to make the other wheels. You add one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, four, right next to this. Compared to the F40PH-3 model, you can copy what, what you want to do, but give credit to the owners of this channel. You need nether brick stairs on the first and sixth block underneath. Gray terracotta right next to it. Then add dark oak stairs. Then you need nether brick stairs. Oops. If something mistakes happen, delete it and try again. You add the hoppers to the same thing. Then you need dark oak fence gates. Facing this way, that way. This one to the other side. Then you need deep slate brick walls, both sides. Then add deep slate brick stairs in front. So you add deep slate brick stairs on the on the dark oak, dark oak stairs and the gray terracotta. You need deep slate brick walls on the second and fourth and deep slate brick slab on the first and second to the hoppers. Simply goes to the other side, but on the second nether brick, nether brick, I mean the deep slate brick walls or nether brick if you optional, you need deep slate brick stairs. You need three deep slate brick slabs, one, one third and six, and you add deep slate brick wall to the, to the stairs. Okay. Now we're done with the wheels. Now it's time to make the diesel fuel. For the twos, you need you need dark oak fence gates to cover up the entire locomotive. Then you need deep slate brick slabs for five blocks, five blocks wide, on on underneath the 
the deep slate brick stairs. You need the two specifications. You need one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you need four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Then you add one, two, three, four. Then you add the stairs here in the second one. Then you add three. You need you fill it up with three nether brick slabs, and you need and you have the two. And same thing goes for the other side. Two right there, but the only difference is that we need to fill this up up to the inside. But but on the fifth one, you don't need to put it right there. You need dark oak fence gate for the first one. Then you need some skeleton skulls. You need skeleton skulls. And this one for the entire F40 pH-2. You can open it up if you want, or maybe something like that. You can cover up with some, some deep slate brick slabs, and we're all done. Also, you need to add the couplings, which is dark oak slab. We need dark oak slab to the front and to the bottom and to the back. But replace this one, so since we need to add the end part, we need to add a dark oak a warp slab. Cover it up in the middle and add two slabs between. Then you need warp stairs. Okay, you need this one and that one, the deep slate brick slabs, right underneath the stairs. You might have to put differently, but if it do happens, you may have to continue on. Let's make the head of the cab. We need to make the head of the cab, same thing with Quartz block and red concrete. You place one, two, three here, then one, two, three red, and you need this. Also, you need quartz slab for the filling up. And you need gray, gray concrete for the win for the filling up of the wind of the window. You can either put black stained glass pane or blue stained glass pane for the middle. Black stained glass panes in the second and second and fourth. You can put either your F40 pHs with lapis lazuli since they're original blue and orange paint. So let me find out. What is what? What it would be like if you made an F40 pH dash two for the stairs? You need warp stairs. One, you need to fill up with lapis lazuli, but we'll fill it up differently later. We have warp stairs right on top of the deep slate stairs. You can use the other metal brick stairs to place one. Fill it up, up to the hole, which will add the RTA logo, the block of quartz. You need warped signs to make the RTA logo, like that. Then you need is birch fence gates for the ladders or the holder. See? Like that. Now you need to make the American flag. You can make TNT for the American flag. But to be sure, not to explode. You need to make a, a, a number plates. Like, for example, if you put 150 through 172, that's fine. So I put 150. You can choose either number. That's fine with me. And choose the name 
If you want to put it on the F F40 PH-2. And we have the Metra logo. Metra with dark with the quartz stairs or the quartz brick. You get quartz block for the Metra logo. Then you fill it up with lapis lazuli to the stairway. Then you add some black stained glass. Then add another black stained glass here. Then add lapis lazuli. Then you need red terracotta for the garolite. Getting closer, okay, like that. You need some black concrete for the filling up. You can put 150 through 172. Pick a number of the F40 PH-2 fleet, it will be easier for you. Next up, we have the side windows, which is the black stained glass pane with the mirrors, which is gonna be the iron bars. Next, we're gonna need for the rails is the is the white stained glass pane. You might have to put a stone button. And you need to fill this cab up with gray, gray carpet. It reappears on the scene as it suddenly begins to make it even better. Then we have to fill it up with lapis lazuli block to the final course. But on the top, you need to, on this block, you need a one, two, three, four, five to make the Metro logo like that. And you need to fill this whole thing up. The fourth one will be a little different from the other one. You need to add some black stained glass and lapis lazuli in the cab roof. Then you need to fill it up. And you need to add white stained glass paint for the railings. And some white stained glass for the railings. And some dark oak, some birch fence gates. Birch fence gates are for the railings. It's okay when I make mistakes sometimes, even though my my voice is very really fast. You need to make lights for iron item frame and white stained glass pane. You can do it on the front. And you need to make the ditch lights or the marker lights. With ditch lights are stone buttons and the, the marker lights are acacia buttons. Now, you need to cover the window up with black concrete. Now we need to add the vents, which is bedrock. We have this one and that one, and we have four blocks away. Then we do another two, two blocks away, then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Now all we need left is you need to add the red terracotta to the number plate. You need to add either 150 to 172. So 150 is pretty good, which is my favorite number of the F40 fleet. You need to add black, polished black stone buttons and light and white stained glass pane for the side doors. Acacia buttons here. Now we need the polished black stone buttons in the third row. Now we need to make the, the other railings between these stairs right there. Now we need to make the buttons, which is the warp button right there for the compressor. Either way. Now for now for the back side, you need to make the top. Either one, if you like the old one, you need to add red terracotta 
But if product is getting old, you need gray terracotta since it's depleting until it comes to a lightning bolt paint scheme. You need to cover it up with acacia stairs and polished black stone stairs for filling up. You put in polished black stone stairs in either of those vents. The sixth one and the first two, not the second two, because we can fill it up with acacia stairs. And we're done. Now we need to fill in for the top and to make the logo. We forgot to make the Gara light, which is the glow item frame and black and some white stained glass paint. Black concrete will be in the F40 PH-3 in the bodies. See, we have this. Then we need to add the horns, which is mangrove fence gate. Then the lantern will be, the strobe light will be on the left side and the red carpets on the right side. Then we need to add quartz slabs for the F40PH. Then we need trap doors. And we need something else like daylight sensor or polished black stone buttons. Put this one in the first, first bedrock right there and then skip one to there then we skip one add a polished black stone button and we add the and we add the daylight sensor six times we need to make the sign before we go is to make m e t r a on the top three same thing goes for the other side Also, you need for the F40 PH-2 is you need to delete those lapis lazuli and make the RTA logo like that. And we're done with the F40 PH-2. So guys, this is how you make an F40 PH-2.